Hi Capricorn, happy 2022. I'm gonna do a yearly reading for you. First, we're gonna see what you're leaving behind in 2021, what's coming in for you, what energies are surrounding you, uh, what's going to happen in terms of a shift in your life, something that's ending, something that's beginning, a surprise or a change that lies ahead and something you can manifest this year. So let's get into it, Capricorn. Of course, you don't have to be a sun sign Capricorn to have this resonate. I'm going to try to keep things general, but sometimes um, specifics come out. And if that those specific details don't resonate with you, it doesn't mean the entire message isn't for you. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's get into it. Capricorn. I'm hearing Odyssey. I don't know. Let's see the Odyssey. <laughs> get all the cards out. All right. Okay. many let's try to be specific here for Capricorn okay yeah. Capricorn okay energy you're leaving behind the king of cups here with the Seeker in reverse and the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you found something here. <laughs> you found something that you always had here. The Seeker in reverse. You didn't have to go far for it. It could be a personal truth, could be a potential to start something uh, new in your life to get yourself out of this feeling of, I heard, um, well, I heard desperation, but that's not for all of you. It's like to get yourself out of a rut, really. You found something, a prize or a goal or something tangible you could work towards. And in addition to that, you have a lot of clarity around a situation that you felt you would have to kind of like search the ends of the earth to find the answer to. I know, Pixie. This was... um. One sec. This is a relief, okay? So I feel like you're coming in with some kind of relief here. And if you don't feel that yet, it, the energy is available to you right now. I also feel like somebody, and this could be just for a group of you, somebody walked away from you to find their truth or to go after you know, a new goal could be a new career or something. They, they went towards something new and I feel like you felt left behind here. Okay. That could just be for some of you, but it kind of makes sense with what I'm seeing for the rest of the reading. So let's get into it. Energy that surrounds you at this time, three of cups. Well, there's somebody here who wants to make amends with you or wants to connect with you, wants to have fun with you. Could be this could be related to something that happened in October or around October, but there is somebody here, I feel like and it's, it, it's weird because it's not actually, it's like, it's not them showing up. It's like, they're not physically showing up, but their energy is coming in. It's like, you're feeling a rush of their energy in 2022. It's like all of a sudden you feel like their presence or something. It's strange, but it's not like they're actually showing up. It could be this person that walked away. Or it could be someone else entirely, but Whatever this energy is, it could be a new group of friends. I don't know. You're going to have to see as the year plays out. But whatever this is that's coming in to kind of have fun with you, to play with you, I'm getting, to celebrate, I don't know. But it feels like um, something almost superficial. Whatever that is, a shift that you're that's coming in in 2022 is death and look at the way death is looking at these three of cups it's like no i'm not having any of that i don't want anything to do with that i want no part in that 
So you're cutting something out. I mean, look at this death card. He's like stepping on this woman's head. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't care. And if my scythe doesn't work, I got a bunch of arrows here too. It's like really severe Capricorn. You're definitely like, what am I hearing? Well, you're like cutting off dead wood, I heard. I don't know. It's like you're, you're just getting rid of something here that's been useless. And if this is a bunch of new people coming in, you're like stopping it before it gets out of hand. So you're transforming the way you deal with a situation. I feel like you're being very blunt. In the past, I feel like you were um, a little closed off emotionally. Surprise, surprise, Capricorn. <laughs> I love you, Capricorn. But, you know, this really does speak to me of like emotional Capricorn energy. It's like you feel a lot, but you don't always say it, right? And I feel like that's, you know, you were in your usual vibe in 2021 or even earlier. But now you're moving into this like Scorpio energy of like, oh, hell no. No, fuck that. <laughs> okay, so that's the shift that's coming in for you because you're having this massive transformation because what's ending for you in 2022 is the seven of swords, deception, trickery, distraction, someone distracting you so they can get away with something. Careful that whatever you're saying no to or whatever you're putting an end to isn't itself a distraction. I know that that sounds cryptic, but that's what I'm getting because I'm seeing death being focused on these three of cups here and the seven of cups is behind you. So careful about knowing where deception is. You know, we all experience forms of deception in our life, whether that's being like, you know, a price is jacked up on something we bought it and the salesperson knew, you know, something small like that to being deceived by a lover. Okay. Whatever the case is, you're putting an end to it. Just make sure that you're actually putting an end to the deception and not something that's potentially good for you. Cause I feel like you got hurt here. Mm -hmm. Let's pull out one of these cards uh, to get, they're just keywords, to get an overall keyword for 2022. I, it's The message is interesting. Hold on. It's like something's changing here as I'm reading it. Because there is something that you're definitely saying no to that I feel is superficial. But at the same time, you're not seeing something else here. Like there, and this feels like your last reading almost. It's like there's some kind of self-deception here about something. I need to clarify this spirit because I heard leave the King of Cups, okay? <laughs> because there's something I'm not seeing. Judgment in reverse. See, there's like a judgment I feel like you're making. Nine of Swords, yeah, based out of anxiety here. A wanting to be unchained from something or to be done with something, to be rid of something. But spirit doesn't... Spirit doesn't want you to cut out the wrong thing. Okay, so it sounds a little bit tricky. So let's get a keyword. Prudence. Exactly. I, I couldn't have picked a better keyword. You're going to have to be really prudent about what you're doing. Surprise. Because I feel like if you cut out the wrong thing, there could be a shock, you know, a realization that that wasn't the right judgment. Okay. So let's bring this to an example spirit. I heard no. <laughs> but it's like I have to because... It, well, like it's like... Say you have two friends, right? And I don't know, maybe this isn't a good example, but it's like you're suspicious that they're talking behind your back. I don't know. Okay, let's just say. Or co-workers. And you just... Um, yeah, it's like you, you end the entire friendship or you quit the job. But that wasn't the problem there. You know, like you shouldn't have left the job. Yeah, that's why Spirit didn't want to give you an example. Forget it. But just be discerning about 
what you're cutting out, okay? What you think is deceiving you and what is actually deceiving you. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit difficult to navigate that because you're coming from a place of being hurt and having anxiety and not saying anything about it. It's like you haven't voiced yourself enough to yourself or to someone else. So let's get some advice about this. What can Capricorn do? Temperance, prudence, temperance, be patient. Okay, don't make any, any swift decisions here. Let things gel, let things um, reveal themselves to you, okay? Be patient. Now, I'm not saying like if you, if you get bad vibes from somebody or a group of people, you know, it's totally up to you whether you want to deal with it or not. Just make sure it's not distracting you from something that needs more of your attention, okay? Ooh, this is complicated reading, Capricorn. Okay, so let's see. Something in your life that will be illuminated. The Six of Cups. Something from the past. Could be something from your childhood that's going to be illuminated. Maybe what's driving your anxiety is something that resides in a past memory. I'm not... Totally feeling like this is a return of a soulmate. Let's get, you know, which this could mean, but I'm not feeling that exactly. Let, let's see, what is the Six of Cups here for something that will be illuminated? What is the Six of Cups for something that will be illuminated for Capricorn? Queen of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. There's an imbalance here in your dealings with other people. There's a queen and a page, right? And the queen is saying, queen of swords is saying to the page, is this all you have to offer me? Give me what you, I, you know, you're, I still, it's not enough for me. This is what I'm getting. It's still not enough for me, but I'll take it anyways. You know, give me this pentacle you're holding up so I can evaluate it and see if it's, you know, worthy. And the reason why I feel like it's, having a negative connotation here is because the Knight of Swords is in the reverse here. It's like the Queen of Swords is about to say, oh, here, I'll take that and then be like, yeah, this is shit. It's not worth anything, even though she took it. So that could be you or someone else. And then we have somebody else saying, coming up to a queen, offering them only a pentacle, you know, not coming with something substantial. So it's almost like... <laughs> Both people, and this could be two parts of yourself, or it could be you in a job situation or you and another person. It's like both people are knowing full well that I'm hearing oil and water. Like they're not seeing eye to eye on something, but they're still trying to interact somehow. And I feel like this is going to be illuminated to you that they're, that you're operating on two different planes with somebody. And it's just not mixing well. It's going to be impossible to get on the same page when you're coming together with completely different perspectives. That And there's like a stubbornness here from the Queen of Swords, an unwillingness, which is an air sign potentially, an unwillingness to understand or to begin again or to learn something new. And this somehow is connected to your childhood, okay? So if this is about love, there's something about this dynamic, this unequal dynamic here. Like a uh, Queen of Swords is having a little bit of a ego trip, I feel. Okay, there's something about that that is familiar to you from your childhood. This could also be a soul contract you have with some someone. But what's happening here in 2022 is you're gaining new insight into why the dynamic is like this. So you're going to have some knowledge on how to work through this or what this means to you, why this connection is a part of your life. Because there's something here that I feel like Spirit's getting you to transform with the death card. It's something that's been hiding in the shadows, like an insecurity you might have, okay? Or an expectation of other people and you didn't realize you had that within you. Or maybe you were trying to please other people, you know, when you really shouldn't. 
whatever it is for you. It's going to be different for, you know, all of us. We all have our own shadow stuff to work through. Nobody's exempt from that. You know, everybody's had it shit happen in their childhood that's shaped who they are, who's shaped their conscious and subconscious. And some people aren't aware of that at all, that they're operating from an unconscious place, a memory, a thought form, an emotion that was activated in childhood. They're like, they're not fully conscious that their perspective is colored by that. Their relationship with their negligent mother or their negligent father or their abusive father they're not like they don't understand that that's how they approach relationships from this from it from their inner child that's still wounded and i feel like whether that's you or them or both it's like you're gonna understand that and understand how that wound has been deceiving you potentially getting you to cut out things that made you happy Okay, it looks like a year of being delicate and careful with yourself. And I feel like that's the exact opposite <laughs> from what you really want to do this year. I feel this power from you, this rush of like, oh, fuck no, I'm not taking shit anymore. But this is like the exact moment that you need to really reflect on what that means to you. What does not taking shit mean to you? And what, what is other people's shit? Like what does that actually look like and mean? And why does it bother you? What is it about it? You know, all those kinds of questions. Okay, this doesn't mean that's the only thing happening in 2022, but it's a big theme, prudence. All right. A change that lies ahead for you this year. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is beautiful because something that was okay, you know, it was all right. It was stable enough. Maybe it was your job. Maybe it was a relationship. Maybe it was your self-image, whatever. Something that was good enough is now being revealed to you as you could have more. Like you deserve more than this Capricorn. You, like the, you were settling for something, could even be a mindset, but it's like this unexpected change is like, oh fuck, I could actually have more than this. I deserve more. And I feel like once you get that realization, that's part of what lights a fire under your ass to like make all these changes. So it's going to be difficult because Spirit's also saying at the same time, it's great that you're having that realization and understanding of how to build now and move in a new direction and how your whole psychology and your perspective of the world is rooted in your childhood. <laughs> you know, it's great that you're understanding all of that more. If you didn't already, it's like you're going to have a diff you're going to have a deeper understanding if you already understood that. But hold on, <laughs> slow down. Because you have to be really careful and selective because there's things that are in your life right now that are for your highest good. And I feel like with one swing, one like fell swoop, you could cut those ties. And I feel like spirits like don't cut all the ties here. So you'll know what that means for you. Something that you can manifest. Queen of Pentacles. Hell yeah. <laughs> Security. Abundance, confidence. This is really nice. So you could manifest you being in your highest power is really what I'm seeing here. You being open to receive what is rightfully yours, universally, soul contract, blueprint, you know what's in your blueprint? Receiving what's in your blueprint, yeah. Well, receiving what's rightfully yours. You could manifest that. And I feel like there are pieces here already for you that will help you thread that together, that manifestation. But for some reason, they're almost like attached to things that you need to let go of. So it's like maybe you don't need to cut the certain things down. I don't want to say. Maybe you don't need to cut ties. You need to, to untie them. 
You know, it's like, don't be so severe with something. Feels very nuanced. All right, Capricorn. I hope that made sense to you and gave you some insight. It looks a little bit tricky. I am going to go into the extended here and try to get more clarity here. I'm going to do a Celtic cross and just dig in deeper here. Find out what the Six of Cups thing is over here, who that is, what that's about, what you're going to find out here, and how we get you to this manifestation. But if this is where you go, I love you so much. If you resonated with this reading, liking this video really helps the channel. <laughs> I'll see you next time.